Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday, 22 November. Got the Boons chart up here to start things out. We've been talking about Boons um, for weeks now. Still core short. Uh, to get a pretty bearish bar yesterday. Heading back down towards this 200 day, which is 170 and a quarter. Course short the way, um, you know, keep in mind a uh, reason I pull this chart up is we sold up in this region on the way back up on the tactical book, but because volatility has been so low, we've been sitting short tactically, doing nothing with it because there's no place to take it back and there was no, we didn't hit our stop for days now. Um, but keep in mind, just remember and remind yourself which portion of your book is tactical, as in short term, and which portion of your book is long term. Just a friendly reminder. Take a look at Euro. Nothing really going on. 93 the high yesterday. Failed down to 50. So we did get well, 55. We did get kind of a 40 point uh, move, which is not really too much, but better than better than recently but a week it's been a week now since we talked about getting long at at uh, 108.90 we bought again through 110.20 and here we are 110.66 point is um, vol is incredibly low it's lower than I've seen it maybe in my career Overall, vol, the years vol, the interest in FX, uh, it's just so minimal. It's it's almost spooky. Um, so, got to be patient. Can't take blood from a stone. Everything now looks like for the ongoing weeks, it's just tactical. There are no trends here. Um, we're calling it time of death 6.59 a.m. Swiss time uh, FX is dead so you gotta play this tactically you gotta just try and take your nickels and dimes keep yourself above water um, and just take it for what it is it's low vol and quiet Anyway, let's look at the cable here. Lots of overhead resistance, lots of flow resistance, lots of gamma resistance. This looks like to me she's going to head lower. I don't know why. It could be anything. Corbin could sneeze. Um, Boris could belch. Who knows? Uh, but once we clear this sort of 128.90 area, there's going to be some fresh air. Feels like we need to take a new visit down to this 127.70. Maybe there'll be a poll that says labor's ahead or something. I I don't know what's going to drive this, but it feels like and kind of looks like now in the chart, especially with yesterday's failure up there at 65, that this guy wants to go lower. Uh, the Sterling Yen chart, which we've brought up a million times over the last uh, five days, also has some stops below uh, that should be susceptible you can draw this upward sloper here in sterling yen um, comes in around 60 I guess or you can just work on this horizontal which is around 30 32 35 area um, but sterling yen also looks like it wants to fold so we don't mind core short sterling um, we don't actually, we are not actually short right now, but it just kind of looks like this is going to go left. And we'll have to see if there's going to be a driver. Today we have services PMI in Europe and in the UK. So this could be a driver. Say these, say these numbers come in well below 50. <clears throat> could be the driver today. I don't really know what to talk about. There's not much. Dollar Swiss is sort of pinned here on the highs. 
nothing to see here uh, don't really care we're waiting uh, like we've been saying all week for 9840 and we're gonna enter into shorts through 70 and then we're gonna add to shorts through 40 while we're screwing around up here you know you can probably sell this going into one one double O going into parity but pretty lackluster stuff equities same same BS we did we did trade up to 14 three quarters yesterday then back down to the figure here we are at 07 zero going on uh, zero to sink your teeth into we're just sort of lurching from one headline to the next uh, the trade war sucks the trade wars fine um, but overall it's bullish right I mean this is we're in an uptrend so um, if the trend is your friend be careful getting short until you really get evidence that the trend is over we had this evidence on the 20th with a big down day but we couldn't hold it right now we have a big wick here we're right back into nowheresville so you know just wait wait till the chart the price and the story tells you uh, and it's not telling us yet just watching gold also doing nothing sideways here up to 75 down to 65 nothing going on dollar yen guess what nothing going on so in general nothing is going on in general you need to be patient uh, we do have these services PMIs today we have retail sales out of Canada um, I don't really want to waste your time uh, with this chart work and and because uh, there's really chart work is useless when there's nothing going on and there are there are no real trends in FX um, so let's focus on the news releases PMIs today retail sales uh, in the afternoon and then US uh, manufacturing and services PMIs also today so these PMIs can be movers so let's be on our toes for that and I guess we're kinda we're watching sterling downside tactically um, I guess you could say euro swiss we're tactically trying to be short euro swiss uh, we're actually square we just took them back at 80 yesterday um, we'll probably sell again today if there stops above the figure not a whole lot out there is the point um, so don't force this try and be patient I know doing nothing one of the secondary consequences of doing nothing means you cannot make money but it's times like these you have to really focus on not losing money. There's just not a lot of money to be made when vol is, I don't know, is, is basically zero. All right, sermon over. Listen, uh, hopefully we'll get some vol from these PMI services today. Good luck out there, people. Uh, hopefully I'll have more to say on Monday. Have a good weekend. Ciao.